With the fifth overall pick, the New York Giants selected Kayvon Thibodeau out of Oregon. Now, a lot of fans should be super excited about this, but before I jump into the video, hit that subscribe button. If you are new to utility sports, it'd mean a lot. And we're covering a lot of the draft coverage and a lot of other NFL content. Now, looking at Kayvon Thibodeau as a prospect and the New York Giants, how is this a fit? I think this is an awesome fit from the standpoint of what Kayvon Thibodeau can bring. He's a guy that is superior off the edge, extremely quick, athletic, great with his hands, uses power, uses finesse. There's so much to love about him as an individual prospect. I think New York Giants fans should be really, really pumped about getting him. This is a guy that was a consensus number one pick dating back all the way through last year. Uh, a guy that has fallen a little bit on people's boards, has fallen out of grace with a couple of franchises. Uh, considering some of the pre-draft meetings, uh, did not go as well as expected. Now, looking at what he brings from a standpoint of uh, his production was great at Oregon. This guy was an absolute home wrecker for this team or for uh, all the other teams. Now, looking at it, I believe the Giants made a great pick. I definitely do. Looking at the start of the Brian Dable era, I, I think this is phenomenal. Getting a guy on this defense, this talented, and then having pick seven to kind of lean back on and potentially take an offensive player or just continuing to add to the defense is a huge plus for this franchise. The New York Giants absolutely made the right decision. I like this from the standpoint of you're giving your defense a guy that is a double-digit double sack guy for likely his entire career. I think he has that much upside. Potentially has the most upside of all the prospects in the entire draft from a physical standpoint. And technically, he's going to get a lot better. He's going to be um, improving year by year. I definitely think this is something that the New York Giants had to focus in on, was taking a home run level prospect. This is where they kind of have to go and transition to. Obviously, uh, they felt they had a need at that edge spot. I thought they were going to address it potentially with pick seven. However, they decided to flip-flop it, go with the edge first, because Kayvon Thibodeau being there uh, was not super, super expected. I, I know a lot of people thought he could potentially go one or two or even three uh, or four. I mean, the, he was a landing spot for all those teams that were ahead of the Giants. And they end, up, they end up securing one of the best players in the draft, obviously, at number five. And to me, he's an absolute steal. Um, I considered him to be potentially my number one guy on my big board, just considering of how much of a freak athlete he is. And his ability to win with power and with finesse is a big plus in this league. The New York Giants were probably also considering tackle at that spot. Um, you know, Ikemek Wanu, Evan Neal were probably real possibilities here. However, it's, it's nice to have the great luxury of having two top seven selections, which is super, super rare to have. Obviously, the New York Giants felt that uh, they had to pull the trigger on this move. I, I definitely think that when you look at the New York Giants and where they stand, um, they're going to get better and better. These picks five and seven are going to be a big difference maker. Now, if we go ahead and analyze the actual grade of it, I give this an A-level grade. I think that this is a prospect that you don't want to miss, and they definitely didn't, you know, kind of balk at the opportunity. They went ahead and selected potentially what they thought was the best guy available. And uh, honestly, this was a great move by the team. I think a lot of fans should be excited. Let me know in the comments section below if you felt this was the right pick for your New York Giants. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more future NFL content. I appreciate all the support and let me know in the comment section below what you give this grade.